Hi everyone, Johnny Gibson, the voice of the World of Outlaws here with an explanation of the nightly race format for the greatest show on dirt. Each night we begin the program with warm-ups. Drivers get a chance to feel out the speedway and their race cars before we move in to qualifying time trials. Qualifying works like this. It's one car at a time on the speedway for two laps on the clock with the faster lap scored as that driver's official time for the race program. We use the qualifying times to line up the heat races. At events where we have a large field on hand, we split qualifying into two flights. The reason we do that is to keep things fair for all the qualifiers. Traditionally in dirt track racing, the track tends to get a little slower as we progress through the qualifying session. And so when we split qualifying into two flights, the drivers qualify only against the other drivers in their flight and not against the entire field. Qualifying heat races are next on the race program. With a small field of 20 cars or less, the World of Outlaws run two heat races with the top two finishers in each heat race moving on to the dash. Everyone else comes back and runs a qualifying race with the top two finishers in that event moving to the dash as well. The qualifying race is lined up according to finish from the heat races earlier in the evening. With 21 to 24 cars registered, we run three heat races with the top two finishers in each heat race advancing to the dash. Everyone else lines up the main event according to their heat race finish. With 25 to 31 cars registered, we run three heat races. The top six finishers from each heat race advance to the main event with the first and second place finishers moving on to the dash. The rest of the transfer cars line up in the main event according to their heat race finish. The cars in seventh on back go to the last chance showdown and line up according to qualifying times for that event. With 32 to 48 cars registered, we run four heat races with the World of Outlaws. The top two finishers in each heat race advance to the dash with the top five finishers moving into the main event. Drivers finishing third through fifth in their heat races line up in the main event according to heat race finish with everyone else moving on to the last chance showdown or a C main depending on car count. When we have 49 cars or more signed in, we run a six heat race program. The top three finishers in each heat race qualify for the main event. The first and second place finishers in heat races one, two, and three move on to the first of two dashes, while the top two in heat races four, five, and six move on to the second dash. Depending on the number of heat races run, the World of Outlaws use a dash to line up the top three, four, or six rows of the main event. Dash starting order is determined by a draw that takes place on the front stretch. Drivers draw for their individual dash positions. Drivers who finish fourth or lower in their heat race have another opportunity to qualify for the A feature by running either the D, the C, or last chance showdown events. Drivers are grouped into those events based on qualifying times. The top two finishers from the D main advance to the C, where the top two finishers move into the back of the last chance showdown, depending on car count. The top four or top six finishers in the last chance showdown make up the final six starting spots in the main event. Once the preliminary races have been completed, it's time to run the main event or a feature. It's the longest race on the program. It starts the most cars. It pays the money and the points. And it's where you, the race fan, see exactly why World of Outlaws Racing is indeed the greatest show on dirt.